then let's go here and align our text and uh what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna go here to add and i'm gonna show you how you can create some really nice animations for documentary style and you'll learn how to use the 3d camera how to create smooth animations smooth keyframes in after effects so first of all let's make sure our videos are 3d so i'm gonna click on here and drag then i'm gonna right click new and then here we have camera i'm gonna click on camera and then right over here you can uh, you see here the preset type to node camera and preset 35 i'm um, set to 35 all right i'm gonna click on ok then i'm just gonna right click right over here and you can click on camera create orbit null or you can also just click on here and select null object okay and now let's parent this camera to the null so i'm gonna go here in view to view we have here the first image right over this this one if you click on it you see the arrows you can actually move the camera now it's a little bit behind as you cloud and if i click on the clouds uh, you can also click on here you can select this uh, image this video actually with the clouds right you can move it around now of course i'm gonna need uh, this house right in front of this um, video with the clouds and what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go to this null right over here i'm gonna expand and also i'll enable 3d to null as well position and x and then here i'll just uh, zoom in i think that's enough and then i'll just uh, add some rotation like this and this is what we have now here actually let's uh, add a keyframe here move right over here add another keyframe just gonna drag as you can see the house down here and I'll actually list a little bit of movement, a little bit of curve here. So I'll just go right over here, hold, and select the con convert uh, vertex tool. If you drag now, you can a little bit of curve. And then here, this is what we have. Okay. Now we can highlight all the keyframes, right click, and select is and then here we're gonna select the keyframe and we're gonna drag so we have slow and then fast so how this effect works is this rotation the camera you can also click on here this is the top but you can go to custom view and from here you can see exactly how the camera moves and this helped me a lot to understand how camera a 3d camera works in after effects now we'll go back here select um custom one we use this i'm just gonna add another adjustment uh, layer and then what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna drag and drop this onto our onto our uh, adjustment layer do i'm just gonna drag this the dust and uh, resize it like this and then here if we go right over here we're gonna have track mats and here we also have mold so we can use one of uh, this Ex exclusion seems to work we're gonna add a new null okay and also i'm gonna add another image which is this one this null is gonna start around here and first i'm just gonna go here and add some position keyframe for position and before we're doing that actually let's not forget to parent this null this one to this one okay and now it should work just fine so around here if i drag also enable the 3d if i drag like this it should work but it doesn't and uh, why it doesn't well we're gonna have to figure out well this one right here is not 3d so let's enable and now should work sorry this part this uh this side 
And also this effect uh, seems like it's not looking a good kind of. But anyways, now let's drag the second image, which is here. Okay. It's like a slide effect we're going to make here. And let's go back to this one here. And let's see what we have. So it's going to go like uh, this. So like starts from here and drags to the uh, image. Okay, now let's uh, move to the next part of this video where I'll actually first recompose this. You can also use the shortcut command uh, shift command C. Okay, here now we precompose this. We're going to click on this right over here. And this is the second part. So I'll call this comp two or scene two. the next image two. I'll now sh click on this one. Select move K okay, to double click on the first comp I like to think of the recomposing them as you add them in a box. I'll resize this image. And huh. so yeah, I'll just resize this image Add so don't select the view, the image, otherwise going to add a mask. Now I'm just going to move behind. Select the image. And now you can uh, go back to the first scene we have. Uh, this is what we have here. So I can move uh, this, let's say, right over here. And rotate this image like this. But I'm not going to do it right now. Let's first just position the image right over here. And uh, then, okay, like this. Or we can just uh, add adjustment layer. Okay, that's actually better. And then what we can do here is first add camera. Make sure you so add a 3D here. Very nice. And now from here with the camera, we can basically Add now, actually, let's add a node as well. Okay, perfect. And parent this null. And also like to add some movement to our image here. And uh, now right over here, I can click on uh, position. So I'll add a keyframe actually right over here. You can also move the anchor point. So you can move the anchor point like right over here. And then I'll add a keyframe right over here. And then just uh, now it's going to, you know, move the image here, right? But actually, I want this other way around. I can move the keyframes, that's not a problem. Now this is pretty linear as you can see, which that's not really what we want. So let's highlight our keyframe. Actually, we can do this at the end. Now let's first uh, add some zoom in. So with this position, I like to zoom in a little bit. So like so. And yeah, let's actually do it this way. Add a keyframe here. Also for Z, a little bit of rotation. You can also make this increase the size of this image. Anyways, and then we're just gonna zoom out. We can also just reset. That's something you can do. And this is what we have here. And um, yeah, let's add some also some rotation here, which I didn't add. So um, I can uh, add some rotation here. And then uh, so 
Let's let's add a bit of rotation. Something like this. And now let's press U so we have more space only to show the keyframes. Perfect. And now right click, go to is now I'm just going to select all the keyframes and drag like this. Now let's see what we have here. Now it's the Sue's law for sure. So I'm going to move the keyframes closer. Okay. Perfect. And then I'm going to go in the main comp here. We have here this in place. And then I'm just going to go in the project here. Uh, here we have the scene two. I'm going to drag, sorry, I'm going to drag this here. And then this is what we have. 